All right, we are back. Uh, welcome, everybody, uh, to Leinert's College Football Legends, sponsored by Dick Sporting Goods, my favorite store on the planet uh, with me, Matt Leinert. Uh, if you don't know me, uh, I am 41 years old, and we just announced that we're having another baby. So I am entering the four-kid mark this week, which was big news. Um, I'm not exactly sure uh, how we're going to do this, but we're going to do it. Um, I played a little football back in the day. Uh, I've just been starting streaming uh, on Twitch, playing the best game right now, uh, College Football 25. And that's what this show is all about. It's all about college football. Um, the game came out about a month ago. It's all over socials, everything, and it's been fun. Um, this week, me and a guest will compete against each other in two games of 1v1, just like we did last week. Uh, if we each win a game, there will be a tiebreak challenge to determine the overall winner. Uh, once I announce who I'm playing with, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to lose both games, but that is okay. Uh, we'll also dive into the biggest headlines uh, and current landscape of college football uh, ahead of the upcoming season, which starts in less than two weeks, which is mind boggling. So everybody on the chat, uh, we are talking all college football today. We're going to play the game. We're going to have fun. Um, obviously, it starts here in a couple of weeks. NFL season's right around the corner, too. It's the best time of the year, the fall. Um, but without further ado, you know, last week I played Kurt Bankert, who played in the NFL, who's, who's a pretty good gamer. Uh, he's doing a lot of stuff with Madden, with CFB 25. This week is a little different. This week I'm actually a little nervous about this because I am playing the 2017 Madden Bowl champion, Okay. This is not just like any gamer. This is a professional gamer that just kicks everybody's you know what. And he is an Ohio State fan. He's a Buckeye now, officially. Um, and his name is Dub Dot. What up, baby? Did you like that? 2017 Madden. The, wait, by the way, the oldest Madden champion, oldest Madden major winner of all time. I am the oldest. At the time I won, I was 29. You know, now I am 37. So 2017, it seems like, you know, it seems like it was like not that long ago, <laughs> but it's getting there. You know, it's getting there. But for instance, I, when I won, I had hair. I had less gray in the beard. It was way different uh, time to be instance. But yeah, I am the oldest. I'm still the oldest probably competitor there is. But uh, it's fun. It's good to get out there and play against the young kids that are playing video games all the time. And I appreciate you having me. I'm super excited to play some college football and talk some ball with you as well. Yeah, man, this is awesome. What a great title. 2017 Madden Bowl champion. I've never played a professional uh, Madden player, so I'm actually a little bit nervous about that today. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, man, I appreciate it. When did you get into gaming? Dude, uh, I mean, I want to say like real, like real, like I, legit, like com like competing. When did you be like, hey, I'm gonna try and make some money doing this? I I want to say, I mean, what fueled me was playing my friends in Madden. I had one friend named Jeff. He saw that he walked around with a PlayStation controller, PlayStation Two. I want to say back, you know, Madden 04, 05, and uh, he would walk around with a controller trying to gamble anybody because he was the best in the neighborhood. And uh, I, I remember him taking my money as my friend, and it was like forty bucks when I was like forty. <laughs> when I was like fifteen or sixty, it was so much, and I, I'll never forget the feeling that when I played him, I was like, I got a shot, and he just destroyed me, and and, and that kind of fueled me to like, I want to get better, and then you want to beat your friends, and then once you pass that hurdle, it's like, all right, let me plug online. Then you realize, oh my gosh, these guys online are different, and then you want to beat that hurdle, and then you beat them, so on and so forth, and. Uh, Madden 08, I want to say, is when I really got into the competitive field and met a lot of people. So we're going on, closing in on 20 years in this competitive field and, and meeting all these relationships with people. And, uh, and, and it made me realize, like, everything has, like, a, a, a you know, a competitive field or a little group right. that really sweats about, you know, everything in life. And I'm part of the Madden, you know, the small little community that's really sweaty on Madden and really you know, takes it serious. And it's been dope to be a part of it. Dude, it, it, it's awesome, man. The whole gaming industry and just like obviously Twitch and streaming has really taken off. And I just got into it this year and I think it's awesome. And I've always appreciated guys like you who game as an athlete who game and just play and who love the game. Because I think as a player, there's there's probably a little bit of a different perspective. Like we all grew up playing video games, right? Like video games are part of our childhood if you're into gaming. But now to see you especially doing it as a profession making like like making legit money taking care of your family like that is dope dude and um i before we kind of go into this how many this is always we talked a little bit before this before the show but 
How many hours a day, on average, are you just sitting in your bunker over there gaming? Uh, I mean, it's definitely seasonal. I mean, much like football, you know, if it's all, if it was August for you and you were a sophomore or even when you were in high school or you were, you were registered. Yeah, dude, it's go time right now. I mean, at right. this point, oh, you said I'm the oldest dude and there's, you know, 18 year olds, 16 year olds, and they, they don't have anything to do. They don't have right. a family, a, mor a mortgage, a kid, like they're not, they're not, you know, losing sleep or, or they're not, whatchamacallit, they don't have responsibilities. So they're getting after it. And me, thankfully i've made it my job to the point where yeah i'm this 16 hours right now at least you know because it's go time now the game came out madden came out yesterday <laughs> and it, it was go time on college football it was you know 10 16 hours a day so uh, i'm definitely blessed to be in this opportunity that uh i don't think anybody over the age of 30 has you know just be able to sit here and play the game and you know it's a job now it's great dude i'm 41 and i i've i've convinced now i've convinced my wife we have a teenager we have uh two little ones and one on the way that this is a part of my life now gaming and streaming and the business part but i have i was playing the other night and she's like what are you doing i'm like i'm just practicing man i'm just practicing so you got to be careful but you're right like like the older you mm -hmm. get when you have wife kids you have responsibility obviously you want to balance that out but uh dude super super excited to have you and uh before we get to all the action, we know, guys, that it is almost time for kids to go back to school. While some kids may think college football 25 is essential, Dick's Sporting Goods has all the real essentials like backpacks, lunch boxes, water bottles, and all the best equipment to start the next sports season. Uh, gosh, school is right around the corner, man. So Dick's even sent me my own essentials in the form of a new pair of shoes. Check these out, dude. I, I don't know if you're a Hoka guy, but these are Dick's sent me this. Um, I'm going to see what we got. We got these. I got a big old foot, dude, size 15. So this might not okay. even fit, but I love these. These are smooth. Uh, I got the verse t-shirt on. I love these, a the little pocket, kind of casual. And uh, obviously they have all this stuff for the kids in the sports. So shout out to Dick Sporting Goods, uh, sponsoring the show. We appreciate you guys. Um, dude, before we, we'll, we'll, we'll get into the game here in a couple minutes, but uh, college football 25. I know obviously your your history is in Madden as a professional gamer, but um, what are your thoughts of the game? How are you liking it? Um, anything you change or are you having fun playing it? Dude, I love it. Um, it's been 10 years, so everybody was like, uh, man, uh, there was some skepticism. Like, obviously EA makes it, who makes Madden? So there was some, will it be Madden just with college jerseys right. or college stadiums? And that was kind of the big deal. And uh, growing up being, I mean, being old, you know, in the gaming field, I played college, I played NCAA, all these NCAA games back in the day. And it was always kind of a precursor to Madden where you play a month before Madden came out. And uh, it was always a little bit different and, and just the size of the field. It's, uh, and it's the way the zones play, the way the game plays, right. just because of just the, the boundary in the field is always way different. And this game, the movement is so much different than Madden. It's awesome to have another football game. It's made by the same company, but the, the gameplay is a lot different. So, like, if you're a fan of this play style, a little bit quicker, a little bit faster, uh, you can play this game. And so, and vice versa, if you like to slow right. a little more, you know, that you can play Madden. So, to have two different football games that are that are different for sure, that are but are both you know high level fan, uh, football games, it's definitely awesome, and I've been enjoying it a lot. It's given me another busy month of the year, so that's definitely a bonus. Uh, and it's been a great been a great month playing college football. And one of the best things is is like learning all these teams and all these players right. and like saturdays you'll watch games and you'll be like all right i mean i'm not really interested in the game but now that i know all these players like oh i remember that guy he has 96 speed let me see if he could put that to use on saturdays in the real game how are they going to use him and our jet sweeps this ridiculous in real life as they are on the game just give somebody the ball run run you know horizontal is it that hard to stop you know so uh it's going to be exciting i'm truly excited to watch college even more because of playing this game for so long yeah, I, I think, and, and too, because we're going to dive into this game right now, but I, I think also the fact that there's still, and even though it's NIL and these players are, are making money now, which, I, which I'm all for, um, I, you know, this game has been, was gone for, what, a decade at least. And mm -hmm. um, now that it's back and you can play with, like, you know, like, like from, a, from an athlete perspective, it's like these kids have a dream to play college football and, try, and a dream to get in the NFL. And now they can, like, play with, their team and their friends and all of that. It's just, it is different than Madden. You know, I think there's a little bit more of like, um, 
like you're in Madden, you kind of take it for granted when you're in the NFL. It's still cool, like when the ratings come out and all that. But this is college football, and now it's like, man, 18 year olds who are playing college football. Are like, dude, I get to play with my like, you know. I think it's just a, it's a different feel for sure. I think, and that's why I think the game is fun. I think it's definitely different than Madden, as you said. But um, super fired up for these kids. So, um, all right, listen, chat. He fired away. Uh, it's Dub Dot and myself. We appreciate you guys joining us. Um, we are going to get ready to play our first game, but before I'll explain the rules um, and we'll set this game up. And also, Dub Dot and I want to know who do you guys think will win this first 1v1 game? Um, I don't have a great feeling. I will just say that. So, chat, if you think I'm going to win, vote by typing hashtag liner in the chat. If you think Dub Dot's going to win, Type hashtag dub dot. You guys can all go ahead and vote now. Uh, we will tally up those votes in a second. Um, while the votes are going, how are you feeling, my man? I know you're feeling probably pretty good about this game. Oh, as far as the game, I, nervous. Um, <laughs> oh, stop. you know, you're it's not kind, nervous, kind of it's kind of a lose lose, you know, for the most part. Um, uh, but yeah, kind of like if, you know, USC in your prime, you went on the road or you had, you know, some, your, your, your cupcake game, the first game of the season that came in, you know, like, all right. I mean, we're, you know, we're probably going to roll, but you never know, you know, they don't have any pressure on them. Don't they always come out like gangbusters, like first play of the oh. game, our opportunity to make our mark, you know, that's kind of, kind of how I'm feeling right now, you know? Dude, you, you, <laughs> I know you're just, you're just trying to make, get me excited about this. You play professionally, dude. Okay. Yeah. And by the way. By the way, I don't want you to take it easy on me, okay? I don't want you to take it easy on me. I have confidence that I'll score some touchdowns. I don't know what the spread is. It might be – we're only playing four minutes. We're going to get in the rules here in a second, but we're only playing four-minute quarters, so it goes pretty fast, okay? But I'm going to give well, myself I, maybe a 21-point spread. Is that it's too funny. I just, I just put a bet on – I put the bet 20 and a half was the line that I just put. <laughs> there, and there and honestly, man, it's bad. Only two people like that are, are taking the 20 and a half points. It's tough. It's tough. Well, we got – I got the chat. We got Frost uh, underscore bite on night. Dubby isn't any joke. And then now we're going by Dubby. So, I mean – Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I got in a lot of liners, I think, because they feel bad for me. They've seen me play this. I was I was uh, streaming a dynasty with Kansas, and I just lost in the national championship game. Uh, actually, last night, I threw a pick. I pressed the wrong button, dude. I panicked. I literally panicked, and I threw a pick six to lose. Oh, it was brutal, dude. Mm. It hurt. Mm. It so hurt. Do, um, do, you feel, do you feel the do nerves we, when you played a video game that you did when you honestly, were you know, quarterback yeah, a little I bit? Did. I did. Isn't it crazy? <laughs> like, I did. I felt like... I'm like, what am I doing? This means absolutely nothing. <laughs> I, I guess for you, when it you're means everything, for, dude. When you're but when you're playing for money and you're playing like that's for real. I oh, did yeah. feel it though. I was like, I, I and then like, you know, when you stream, you're kind of bringing, you know, you're bringing your audience with you. You know, they're on this mm -hmm. kind of journey with mm -hmm. you. And uh, yeah, it was it was actually pretty cool. So, um, mm -hmm. do we have the winner? Do we have the winner? Let's see. Uh, let's see if what the chat thinks. Um, yeah, the chat's going off. All these guys. Does Matt know he doesn't stand a chance? Yes, I know that, guys. Um, he said, what button is pick six button? I threw a pick six, guys. I threw a pick six, okay, to lose. Um, dub minus 30. I mean, that's aggressive, dude. That is aggressive. That's tough. That's tough. You would have to, like, actively throw the game to lose by 30 points. Yeah, yeah, because I'm like I'm competent on 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 offense. Um, all right, so let's get into the rules here for round one. Very simple, and this is where I think it's going to be actually complete BS because you're so good. But I'm going to play as USC, obviously, and you are going to play as Ohio State since you all, your family, you guys are in Cleveland mm -hmm. now, um, mm -hmm. but you have some ties to Columbus and all that. So you're oh, going to yeah. play with the Buckeyes, who are absolutely uh, really good in this game. Um, the stadium we will play in will be a bowl game venue, so I'm going to pick that. I don't know what game I'm going to pick what venue, so it won't be a home field advantage. The quarters are four minutes, and the clock will uh, just run, so there's no stoppage. So it, it, it uh, obviously goes faster. We're going to try and get two games in here, hopefully a third if I can split with you. Uh, so, chat, you got that four-minute quarters, running clock. I'm SC. He's Ohio State. Uh, neutral site. Um, and I think we're ready to rock, dude. There you so go. Let's, uh, let's send you a request. Here we go. It's all set. 
Um, all right, did you get that? Here we go. No. Nope. I sent you a, I sent you an invite. You should I'm be in there. Oh, I'm there in there. All right. I don't, but I don't even, I don't even want to play with SC, but I got to play with SC. It's fine. All right, I'm going with. Let's see here. I know it's stadium. I'm gonna go with the most, the most beautiful backdrop in college football. Can you guess? Washington. The Rose Bowl. Oh, okay. Dude, this is a tradi- this is a Big Ten this is a traditional uh, Rose Bowl game, USC Ohio State, baby. Although I can't find the Rose Bowl, so so how many times did you play Ohio State? I never played them, so yeah. I'm actually not gonna go Rose Bowl because I can't find it in here. I'm gonna go. Oh, this one's a bad. This have you been to uh, Allegiant yeah. Stadium? I have not been yeah. there in person yet. No. Oh. Uh, all right, we're ready. Um, we're ready. We went to, uh, we had SC uh, for my show. We had SC Utah for the Pac-12 championship game a couple of years ago to Legion. Man, it is, that place is, I don't know if your Eagles play the Raiders this year in the cross, but if you get a chance to go see a game there, it's pretty It's pretty sick. Every, every eight years they play AFC on the road. Yeah. Every eight years. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I'm actually going to Brazil for the opening game in the NFL, so I'm super pumped about that. Uh, the Eagles play the Packers in Brazil to open the NFL season. Oh, that's right. Are you wait? You are going to that? Yeah, I'm, yeah. Locked in plane tickets, hotel. I'm still monitoring the game tickets. You know, it's a little. It's, so I've you're going to go bought, all you know, secondhand and tickets and stuff. And potentially not go to the game. All right, I'm going to get into the game. All right, that's the easy part. Say, the dude, flight, the, the flight in the hotel, and once you have those, and you're physically going to be in Brazil. Okay, now like the. The game, it's a little sketchy. Like, am I buying these third-hand tickets in Brazil? It's easier when it's, like, in your backyard. But, like, you know, we'll see how it works. I'll figure how it out. How do you though. think uh, – How do you think the, I think the Eagles are going to be good this year, man. I mean, they're obviously good. They had, last year was a little bit of a down year, but – Last year they just hit a – I don't know what happened. They hit a wall and just, like – Dude, that's the, that's, the, that's the thing I love about the NFL is, like, obviously what the Chiefs are doing, what the Pats did. Like, that just – it's just hard. Like, there's they're so – oh, jeez. There's mm. so much uh, parody. Like you could be, you could on paper be great, but like, it's just, dude, it's hard to win year in and year out, man. Yeah, it's definitely tough. But... <clears throat> All right. Ooh, this is. We got a lot. Of, we got a lot of fans. Here we go. I mean, this, this you guys, your team is absolutely stacked, by the way. Yeah, this guy's the best part in the game. So it was, it was so oh, good the they had to back. fix him a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And the receiver, the uh, the freshman receiver, did I bounce? Nope, nope. That's good. Come on, dude. They gave that to you? Of course they did. <laughs> oh, wow. So. <clears throat> Ohio State has number four, Jeremiah Smith. He's a true freshman on the right. Um, oh, this guy? I t- oh, that's this yeah. Beast? Yeah. What, what are you going to give a little curl? A little hair with it. You know. See what he got. Big body. He's going to be a top five pick, dude, in like three years. No kidding. Oh, he's so I good, see. dude. He'll be, he'll be one of the best players in football this year. Are you going to press him? This guy. Okay. All oh, right. I'm there you go. Press him, bro. Oh, you got the crosser. That's tough. I mean, come you got to tackle dude. a little better in open field. You're an adult. You got to tackle a little better in open field there. Come on, dude. <laughs> I, see, I appreciate this because Kurt didn't, didn't talk any smack to me. I mean, you know. Oh. That, By the way, that was out of bounds. He had one foot in. Oh, I guess it's, co- uh, it's yeah, guys. it's college. Come on, Mr. College. You only need two feet. Here's my best player though. Oh, that's a fast guy. He's, you see, that's what I mean. Like I know all the players because playing with all these teams. It's yeah. Like, yeah. He's like 98 speed or something. Yeah. He's and really don't play in college because you'll put, find people on on the internet are like, "Yo, play with my team." This or no, be like, "That's my boy. He plays. He's the backup receiver. Put him in the game." Yeah. Like, it's something to be different. Yeah. It's cool for these kids, man. Oh yeah. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, what a block by that guy. He's playing on Sundays. Come on, Sawyer. Look at it. There's no chance Sawyer's run, hawking uh, my that's, running back, by the way. That's absolute effort. We preach that in the pregame meetings. We preach that. There's no way in real life he's hawking that guy. Just effort. That was, you nice, that was, nice, first, that was a nice first football. play. That was a nice first play. I'm empty chips. I, I, I see what you do. You don't know what's going on out here. Oh, I do. That. Show you. That's ooh, fine. Ooh, I get it. Ooh, oh, that's ooh. fine. That's fine. That's fine. You're going to run that nickel mug all game. I see you. I haven't run it yet. I didn't want to do that. I was like, this one, I mean, you know. I, the, the highlights in here. Come on, guys. What are we doing here? I need more out of Miller Moss. Miller Moss, this, so this kid is going to start for SC this year. He, uh, Miller Moss. He grew up. Oh, yeah, the uh, quarterback. Up, oh, yeah, he's tough. Grew up going to my, uh, got him. Oh! He grew up going to my camps, man. He was like five years old. It's pretty cool. No kidding. That's dope. Yeah. Yeah. This is a Empty? horrible series. Empty? People love empty. Well, talk to them about like why. What, do you like? Do you like going empty? I love empty. Really? Yeah, maybe maybe not in the video game, but in real life. Yeah, because it. Yeah. Can... Okay. Well, all right. So this hot fill. Make a read, dude. Make a read. All oh, he audibles. Make a read. Wonder you know somebody's right. You know somebody's coming. Right. Oh. No. See how are you gonna throw perfect passes with somebody running right through the line? By the way, that was that was a touchdown. Uh, in, not in this world. Now you got a fourth and ten. This is this is like no man's territory. Right, look at that. That's a touchdown. Uh, no, if, fourth if, you and know, 10, if the defensive end wasn't just you know smelling your breath right there, it might have been a touchdown. By the way, I picked up I picked up sixty yards on the first play. This is a tutty, by the way. <laughs> the first play was a long time ago. I know you were doing that. Oh my goodness, he's playing on Sundays. Oh, he's a top ten pick. <laughs> By the way, I didn't even flinch. Oh, I didn't man. even flinch. Look at this throw. Look at this throw. Oh, you were nervous. Thread it. You were, you were nervous. You know that was the most nervous snap in, in your life. Mouse it outside. Come on. Good tackle, boys. That was a good tackle. Oh my goodness, I mean, he's got like a seven play drive going right here. This is embarrassing. Well, this is what I like to do. I like to I like to be methodical. Yeah, I like to score. I'll, I'll take awesome. my chunks when I get them. Got him. Oh my goodness. Screenplay. That's what they do when they're nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Our quarterbacks in shambles. Get him an easy one. Get him an easy one. No, the screen is the greatest play on here. It's not bad. It's definitely a good play. Well, what's crazy is there, I was worried about your boy, your fast receiver there. So I, I was, my eyes were on him the whole way. He's a beast, I mean, dude. I mean, yeah, I, yeah, I, I really had, try I had him auto, press. I'm going to try to auto, audible to him every single time. Are you going to go? Oh, no. There's no way. That's By the way, that's offside. That's tough. Decline that. You don't want to take a free ball. You can't. No, I'll take that. You, know, just you can't no do that. Pride you can't line up in the neutral zone. Just no pride <laughs> except in that as a man. It's crazy. You know better. Empty again. She's kids. Bro, bring the house. I just want to see Oh, we will. Don't worry. You got to snap throw. You got to snap. That. Like, you really, like, you know that. Like, empty, you got to snap throw. So you kind of got to predetermine who you're throwing the ball to before the play even happens. Uh, it's, not, yeah. it's not hard when you, when you line up in man-to-man -man coverage. Oh, I can always put the people in the zone. Come on. I think. Screen or triple option. Oh, no. Come on. <clears throat> you don't keep living like that. Oh, you like that look? <laughs> oh, man. You're different. Oh, man. I'm in shambles. What is going on here? We, well, how is that there? possible? That's not though. Yeah, I know. Because you like quick. He just did like the Chip Kelly no huddle, and my boys were up. <laughs> Come on, Ohio State. Are we out of shape here, dude? <clears throat> it's 
10 yard oh, line. Where's my play? I oh, mean, listen, go. this this drive is good for the spread. Honestly, it's good for the spread. That, well, dude, at this point, all I'm trying to do is keep this under 20. Jet sweep, jet sweep, jet sweep. Alert, oh. alert, alert. Jet sweep, jet sweep. Oh, no, jet sweep. He's going to throw it. 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 Oh, oh man. Good boy, Moses. Was Moss. That, what's the name? Morgan Moss. Uh, Miller Moss. <laughs> Miller Moss. Yeah, I mean, he's not liking that play. I got to be honest, you're way better than Kurt. I got a little more I mean, nerves dude. in this game. I'm just I trying mean, to keep dude. this game close. Although, I, I, I mean, will say this. You are Ohio State. I mean, they're the best. They're damn yeah, best yeah. I, mean, I will say that. Best. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware. I'm aware. I'm sorry. Mean, Listen, I didn't make these rules. I just told you I'm a fan of the Buckeyes. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I don't like this defense, honestly. I knew it. Really. Now, the, the betters want you to take this three and be proud of yourself. That's what the betters want you to do. I, dude, See? I don't listen to the betters. Listen, good teams win, great teams cover, dude. Hey. Figure it out. To me. You're, you're going for this? Why? Yeah, dude. All right. Well, I mean, we're, we're, we're playing CFE 25 on Twitch right now. Let's just, let's just go for it. All right, whatever you oh, say. Oh, Nelly. Make a read. Make a read. Hmm! Oh, Get my it! goodness. Yeah. Oh, man, he's playing on Sundays. He's playing on Sundays. By the way, that was a hell of a read. It was, you put the house. Yeah, but I had a guy right there in a flat right there waiting, and he just missed the hit stick. You know, if I get a good hit stick there, you don't get that, right? You know? But it's a corner on, a, on your running back, so you broke the tackle. You got to respect that. You just got to respect that. That was so a like nice drive, broken tackle right there. This drive has just been going, dude. All right, here we go. Speed option again. Oh, look at me. Look at me. See, that's just remembering. That's just a nerd. The that's, first play of the game was, speed was, option out of split, good. you know? This is what that I'll have. Even good. when I'm old, I'll have that. I'll have that, you know, like, I remember this play from the first drive. Yeah, boys, I, you know, I mean, I, it's not too much I can do right now. I'm, he's fighting for his life on this drive. I'm not, dude, drive. I'm, this, this is, is a good This drive. is methodical. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Oh, my take, goodness. Let's regroup, boys. Let's regroup, boys. Chat, what do you all think, man? I mean, I'm hanging on, but, like, I mean, it's, it's, it's about to be 7-7 seven, seven going into halftime. So I get the ball. Remember that. Come here. The problem is, is I'm getting no, I'm getting no juice off the line, no juice. Not my, these Buckeyes don't play around, dude. Well, you got the best C line in college football. I mean, what do you want me to do? I got to be creative with my play calling. Jet sweep coming soon. Nah. Not jet sweep. Although I do like the jet sweep. Oh my goodness, you're I a psycho. I do like the jet sweep. Oh, it could be the, it could be the jet sweep out of empty. What are you going to do here? <laughs> He's so nervous. I know you see Sawyer right there. He's coming for you. This is where those pick six for the betters. <laughs> Told you. To oh, get it. What? You wanted that? That was a pick. If your know. line saved you right there. Look, you hit <laughs> my man in the head. Dude, I might have All to right. take the three right here. This is the longest drive of your life. If you come away with an 18 play drive, in seven minutes and zero points, that is going to be devastating for the unit. It's going to be devastating. You get the ball <laughs> at half as well. This is what the coaches are thinking right now. Oh, well, that's it's all about do you, do you like your two point play right here? Do you like it? No, I'm going field goal. I, I'm going to play a little better defense on you the first. The first drive was honestly. Was yeah, it was terrible. tough. It was tough. These are hard to make when you're this close and you're on this hash. No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Seven three. Let's take it. Hey, listen. Keep the ball out of your hands. Keep the ball out of your hands. I can't lie. You could never be my coach. Oh, it's a Twitter. The Twitter fans are killing you for that call. I don't. I don't care. This is going to be Let's go. Let's so go. Fast. We feel better about this now. Hey, listen. We're underdogs in this game. We're underdogs. We're not expected to win. Oh my gosh. I am a little. I'm a. I'm a little disappointed at that defensive drive. We are. I mean, he made some plays on some big downs. I mean. Can't be mad. That, well, listen, the fourth and the 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 one to branch uh, early. Oh, that was a dot. Yeah, that was a dot. Oh, yeah, touchdown. Just give him the ball. Whoop. Whoop. I mean, this open space <laughs> crap. All right. 
Yeah, don't, don't, the zone blitz of you, the zone blitz, there's a lot of open space for us. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Zone again, dude? Come on, man. Whoop! This whole... Whoop! And we gotta get some flats down there, cover the running back. Maybe a little man coverage. I got, I, I got you, I got all you. Right, all right. I got mm. you. Omaha, Omaha. What's he doing here? He's still not really covering the running back, but you don't go somewhere else. Come on, kid. That's fine. I'll give you I'll give you five yards. Can't go broke taking a game, baby. Look. All right, I like this. I like this. You gonna run? Oh, touchdown! Oh, no, it's not. All right, come Ooh. on. Ooh, it's a little cover six or something. Okay, okay, big play here. That's good defense. Oh my goodness! What happened, come on, Howard? Dude? That was a bad. That was a bad play. 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 It was. I mean, it was a bad play. It was I, a bad to, call. I told you. I, I told you. I re. I told you. I re. I regroup after one series. I just regroup. <laughs> it was a bad call. No, it was a bad. It was a bad call. I mean, that was, that was you know? a terrible call. It was a bad call. It was a bad call. All right. All right let's go. Let's go. Let's see. Let's be careful. Hey, listen. I, I'll go into the. Uh, let's be. Let's just be careful here. Being careful is how you lose. Oh God! Oh, Got see, him. being careful. Okay. All right. All right. Rigged. Rigged. I mean, rigged. Honestly, it was a rigged. great throw. He rigged. just threw a lollipop. A great throw. On, you man, do get set. Get <clears throat> so, I'm not gonna be able to run the ball against you. That, I mean, that I'm I'm gathering pretty quickly here. Um. Mm. It's big boy time. Yeah, it is. You're right. Let's go. This is a big. Right. <laughs> oh, that's just tough. Out of field goal range. Come on, dude. Come on, well, dude. dude. I mean, there's there's stacks. not much I can do when my guys have a second to throw oh. the ball. Just gotta know in your head you can't take a sack in that position. We still got a timeout. Ball away. Left. I know he's coming off the edge again. We got that. He might. He might not. You never know. Boom! 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 Tack. Boom! Tack. Oh no! Oh. All right. See. All right. We got a chance now, boys. We got ten seconds. Honestly, I was trying. I just was trying to get into the field goal range. Honestly, you were doing that curl no matter what. <clears throat> Boys, don't worry. We get a tutty right here. He's giving me the look I like too. Ah, uh, bad. Five seconds. I mean, that's not gonna get it done, dude. That's, that's not, not gonna that's get not, it done. Not, I mean, Dude. <laughs> 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 you know, you know, ne you never run back to the middle. Well, I mean, you might be right. It's yeah, hard to tell you don't know how many pursuing. Guys, seven three. It fe it feels, it feels very. I mean, what does the chat think? I, I mean, it's seven three. It feels very lopsided, but I'm in the game. I'm in the game. That's all you want, right? That's I, all you hey, want. Listen, at this point, this point, it feels that way. I haven't got my I put. I mean, I, I did put together an eighteen play 
drive to kick it off, which I'm happy mm-hmm. about. I, I mean, I'm not going to use this as an excuse, but Ohio State is really good in this game. They're really good. Oh, yeah, um, they're healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. But, you know, what are we going to do? I got to get a little bit better here on my audibles. You're giving me some 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 zones that I'm noticing. Okay. Well, the good thing about 18 play draft, I think on defense, is that you showed me all your all your plays. Like, I know all your best plays. That's how I feel about when I give, when I give up a big drive. I'm like, all right, I know all his, like, plays he wants to go to in short yardage or all his routes and all his audibles. Like, I, I feel good about that when I make somebody work down the field. Oh, and he goes screen here and he goes a pick. Oh, you were throwing that. By the way, that's a touchdown. Oh, to who? What do you mean to who? That's a touchdown for me. No. Did you look at the screen or you just pressed RB or you just threw it to him? I, yeah, the guy was getting blocked. Look, he was going no, right no, over no, number no, six. No, 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 no. We don't have that. Here we go, here we go. Don't throw it at me. You don't like oh, that. Oh, catch that. That's a big play, oh. boys. You like yeah. this. You like this wide trips. You like this. Short side. He might do He's done a lot of out routes over here. Let me move that guy out there. Oh, he didn't like that. Moving that guy out. He didn't like that. Come on, Sawyer, go get him. Oh my God, like, did you see me? Fourth and seven. Yeah, you punting this? Yeah, I'm punting it, dude. All right. All right, all right, boys. Like, come on, come on, Ennis. Like, this could have been a crib. T- come on, man. This is real football. What is going on here? What? Safety, by the way. What? What are you thinking, what? dude? Don't you know the I rules? didn't even touch the ball. You did right there. It went into the end, but it went into the end zone before I touched it. Yeah, but that's a new rule. <laughs> if it goes in the end zone, it's a touchback, right? Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. What is the rule? No. <laughs> challenge. There's no challenge. Oh, seven to five. Like, Let's go, man. No. no, man. No, no. Violation. First of all, it should be my responsibility to catch the punt or not catch the punt. My man shouldn't move out of the way. Yeah, I'm not. Come here. I mean, Insane. this is just not. It's just not fair, though, guys. That's, I made that like, play. It wasn't Ohio State. That's me. Yeah, Cheat me, you guys. Say it. That's that's just insanity. How he has the ball right now, just and he has two points. Look at this score. This is nasty. This is Big Ten football right here. I don't like this call. I love this call. Got him. This is big. This is big. This. Is, USC's vaunted defense. I mean, I got to be methodical here, man. I got to be. I got to take my time. This, this, I got to get four. This, I got to get four or five yards of pop. Oh my gosh! This is just foul how they did me. Got him! Got him! Got him! Come on, boys. Like, what are we doing? Chat, you like that audible right there? You like that audible up the scene, baby? Let's go. Let's go. I mean, well, I'm getting cheated. That's okay. By the way, look at this score, 11 to 7. (laughs) Adversity adversity makes, you know, makes champions out of us all. You know? I've been there. You know? I've been there. Sometimes the refs just think the ball hits your shoelace in the end zone when it was already in the end zone. You know, sometimes that happens. But sorry. Right. Really, your your guy picked it up. That's what. He, that's why the safety. You know, honestly, I looked away. I didn't even know what happened because I saw the ball bounce in the end zone. I said, you know what? I don't got it. I'm ready to get the ball here. And oh, just... let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh, boys. Are All we getting right. cheated? Let's see. I know you like the. Let's, come on, man. Let's just let's just bend, but don't break here. Let's bend, but don't break.
That is the, that. I mean, I'm playing. I'm playing cover six to the field. I mean, there's there's a there should be a flat defender there. Yeah, but you got to wide press wide down, shade them down so they play more aggressive. So they're just they're just. I mean, they got to play their responsibility before they play the running back. That's all right. Yeah, I know. I'm not. You know, it's not the greatest play in the world, but you know, you got to make them respect the underneath stuff, and then once once they go here and go cover zero. All sides on the kid. Oh my gosh, I didn't know where you came from. Good defense. You just appeared. So, I mean, third and one. Mm. Oh, look at the kid. Okay. You got to take your user and get in there and just make the offensive line confused. Get closer. Yeah, you have to make yourself like a threat, and then the offensive line I'm, comes I'm, out. Of the I'm good, dude. Just call the play. I mean, you weren't that good, but you know. He's gonna drop it. Oh, <laughs> oh, dude, come on, Will Howard. You got nah, a little, I, I, Will Howard got a little. He got a little nervous. He got a little nervous. What you I got, mean, dude? This is a big play. I mean, look at the odds, the percentages you get this, but you never know. You always go for this one. Like if my team punted this, I would be like so egregiously angry. The Eagles punted a fourth and two in the Super Bowl, down by one point in the fourth quarter to Patrick Mahomes. That I'll never forget that. Here we go. Cover three. I mean, dog, there's just no way you gave me that on fourth and one. Dude, my guy can was trying a, can to we get a, Can we get a little more creative on defense here? Dude, you scored seven points, dude. I mean, I, I know, I'm but like, 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 I mean. Right. I mean, I gotta, you scored seven points. I got to win this. I got to beat the spread here. He got me there. You're, yeah, you're definitely not right. going to beat He's not the spread, wrong. But, yeah. I'm, we're going to beat the spread. Are you going to Are you going to sit on the ball so you, you don't, you, you know? We're going to we're gonna beat the spread because you're going to throw a pick six. Jesus. I mean, what? Jesus, you got three yards. I'll give you three yards. <laughs> I mean, I've never met a player who throws to their back in the in the flat. I mean, they're not guarding him. Come on, dude. If if they let Reggie wide open in the flat, would you hit him all the time? I mean, yeah, obviously. Exactly. There you go. That's my point. Right. Like, if, you'd right. be happy if you went in a game plan like, wow, they're just leaving Reggie open in the flat. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking you go. Well, I, I mean, you're up one. You're going. What are you going? Going two. Come on, dude. All I do is check downs. It's the defense's <laughs> responsibility to stop me, not my responsibility to make it easy for him. Oh, come on. And this is where the pick six comes. Maybe back to back pick sixes. Back. <laughs> oh, come on, baby. I've seen I've seen I've seen miracles happen. It's not a miracle. You just need a drive right here. It's not a miracle. The problem is, is there we go. I mean, we're just got to get physical here. What are we doing? I'm almost out of. What is this? Right. Actually, I gotta do this against this guy because I can't. Oh, biggest that shot was, of their that... life, and they're nervy. <laughs> <laughs> they're nervy. Well, dude, they they ran highlights for ten seconds. Come here. Oh, 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 oh that's old man moves and open. You know, this, this fast guy is making it difficult a little bit. Oh, whoa, no, that can't be it. Professional quarterback? Yeah. Did you see the outside guy? Uh-oh, I told you, Chad. What did I tell you? I'm going to sum up by three. I need what? I can't, I can't even do it. Eight, eight. That was, a, that was a bad play. 
I'm aware. That was a really bad play. <laughs> I mean, this is just not, not man covered, so you're not boots in the crib. It's just a bluff. Oh, man. Here it comes. <laughs> can I actually cover it? Can I, get, I don't think I can because I'm only have three. Let's just see how it goes. I mean, I might just take a knee for three plays. So I... you, there's just no chance. <laughs> oh, I got too much pride. God dang it. Sometimes you had that speedy receiver and you kind of fall in love with that, right? Like, that's what you well, know what I mean? The problem is I got nobody else, dude. I got nobody else and my quarterback can't run. My quarterback can't mm. run. I mean, I love, I love mm. my boy Miller, listen, but I can't Listen, move. listen, listen. Too much blaming, not enough gaming. All right? All right? Let's, let's create. You're the offensive coordinator. You're the quarterback. Find a way to get the other guys the ball. Maybe give them a little help. Give them a little motion. You know, I don't. I don't know how to motion, dude. Okay. I don't. How do I motion? All right. Uh, you, all right. Get to the line, and then you're gonna go down on the deep bed, and then it'll put a cursor on every player. And once the cursor's on a player, you can motion them. What? Oh my goodness. All right, I, I was that was a teaching moment, and he took advantage, and then boom, <laughs> touchdown! Come on, I didn't man! Even, I didn't even, mo I didn't even motion the guy. You I know. I was waiting for you to try. Oh, I'm like, all right, he about to do it. <laughs> no, by the way, that, that I was, was just to like perfect block. I got, honestly, I don't, it, sometimes when people ask me how do you do something, it's hard for me to explain it because I do it so naturally, and as that actually just made the game kind of sweaty right here. That's, I, I always. I mean, I've seen I've seen like, weirder oh. things happen on onside kicks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I always onside kick here because even if I get three, you're still in the game. Okay. All right, let's uh, play this. I mean, do miracles happen? Do miracles now, happen? Now, now, Matt, let me ask you this: as a quarterback, like me, my yep. philosophy here is I'm playing for a first down. I'm not sitting on the ball. I'm, I want to end the game on offense. I, that's well, how I feel. I mean, in real life, you're probably you're probably you're making them. I mean, there's three timeouts. Yeah, you're probably trying to get a first down. And this is another one of my philosophies. Oh, here you go again. <clears throat> one of my philosophies is it's easier to pass on first and second down than it is if I get to a third and eight. Oh yeah. So absolutely. like, so but you I, should I, not. I, but you, I come but out you and should, go for on pass. that. You should never pass in real life on first down. Incomplete pass, whatever. Then they don't have to use their timeouts. That makes yeah, sense. for sure. But see, see what I mean? On first down, you played all out man blitz, right? And it was easier for me to pass. If I get to a third and oh. 10, that's when it gets hard to pass. Ooh. Dude, your receiver just trucked my guy to the sideline. Did you see that? Yeah, I mean, that's what we preach here in Ohio. It takes all 11. You know, even if it's a run play, it takes all 11. I mean, 11. this, this. I mean, listen, <clears throat> I, I, held, I held my own against you. Dude. Dude, you you made some you made some plays. I made a couple. I made a couple good plays. I made a couple lucky plays. I mean, no, I, I mean, you, you made you plays. Had, you had you, one. You had one bad play on offense. You, you I did. The pick. Obviously, the safety helped. But this was a good fight. You made some plays. Can't lie. The seam passes think, were kind of, you know, this, the, well, the audible seam pass was kind of nice for the Teddy. Oh yeah. All right up on on the center, so you got rid of the ball really fast too. Like you don't have to wait for a boy. Come here. What I got two timeouts. Winnable. You're gonna try to go see him here to your fast guy. Oh I'm not. Oh, I gotta have my guy too. <clears throat> I think that's the hard part for me in this is obviously I'm getting like my line can't block anybody and I'm not audible in my line and all that stuff like you guys would do. So I'm trying to figure out like what's the next best thing I get locked into my guy. All right, let's go here. We got branch. Oh, yeah, we got this. This open. Did you just bluff me on the mic? Is that what you just did? Yep. That that was a dad move right there. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my goodness. I really was looking at that sad how bad I was. Throw the ball, Miller. Slow. Throw the ball. Throw the ball. Wide open. Good, <clears throat> what are we doing? Perfect motions. Got him. Come on. Should have crossed face on that. It wasn't bad. I mean, that's, that's tough. All my zones are there. And you had one receiver over there. Okay. 11 points in 14 seconds. I mean, we've done more with less, boys. We've done more with less. There's the first pick. That's a down. that's I mean that's I can't I can't throw the ball any better than that. Yeah, it's just I got a good safety, so he's gonna I mean yeah, you got you got first rounders all over the place. You know, oh my goodness. Pick. Caleb, Caleb, good play, baby. Uh oh. This is what was that? For the how, how Well Caleb Downs is a superstar, so he has like this knockout ability where like if he hits the ball hits you, he's gonna knock the ball out there. That's a, by the way, that's, <clears throat> I go, I, I get that first down, I kick a field goal, it's 29 22, and I live for another onside. Smart play. There you go, number two, something here at all. Oh, good play, dude. You clicked on that quick. That was like, that was, still, that was the most impressive thing. I, that was actually really good. <laughs> no, that was, because normally I get people. That was like, pretty good. I, yeah, yeah, I can't lie. That was actually a good play. No, that was, that was, was really respectful, honestly. But you don't know oh, how many people man. just don't click on or don't click on to the last second, and I can kind of body them out there. That was actually a really good play. I'm kind of salty. You did that to me. No, I don't want that. Yeah, that was actually really good. Like, that was actually tough. Oh, come on, dude. No, I mean, no, I mean... Chat doesn't make that play. Don't let them tell you that. Chat does not make the play you just made. Oh, I just played cover zero. Oh, oh, nobody really. By makes the way, that play. That, I, I literally pressed the wrong button. Mm. I'm over at this point. Oh. That doesn't even count. I give you that. It doesn't count. What's really, the game 29-19. 29-19. All right. About is what is the chat? The chat saying they make that play? Damn. No, the chat doesn't make that play. Don't let G them lie to you. The chat doesn't make the play you just well, made. He knows what's up. Mismatched teams. I mean, that's it's one thousand percent. Okay. All right. Well, okay. Well. Fumble kickoff. Fumble kickoff to the crib. Thirty-six, right here, boys. nineteen, twenty-nine, nineteen. All right. This wasn't as bad as I thought. Fumble kickoff to the crib right Come here. On, He's got Zach, a fast guy. He's gonna try to juke. Watch. He's gonna hit a juke. Oh, I tell him. Oh, man, we got a stupid score. We uh, got a stupid uh, score. All right. Come on, boys. Know the time and situation. <clears throat> well, I mean, yes, I round was... one goes. I'm sweating over here. Gosh, man. I about about like for 30 seconds, I actually thought like I could actually pull this off. If I get a couple lucky I mean... plays on an off on a drive. You're a beast, though, dude. That's not even fair. No, I mean, no, you did some, you did some impressive things. I mean, that that pick uh, and run was actually like that was tough. Well, chat, appreciate you guys, and obviously, Dub Dot, as I mentioned earlier, all the essentials you can get at Dick Sporting Goods for back to school. Uh, you can get those items in store, uh, like me, because <clears> it's my favorite store in the world, or online with store pickup or same day delivery. And before we go to break, I want to ask you, Dub Dot, are you a delivery guy? Are you an in store guy? Does your wife shop for you? Where do you go? As far for what? Are we talking food? Are we talking merch? What are we talking about? Food? Yeah, we're talking Dick Sporting Goods. Are you an in-store oh, guy or you deliver? Well, what's dope about then Dick's hooked me up with all this Nike merch is that we are a Nike family. My brother-in-law actually works for Nike, so it was awesome that you, you oh, guys Dick sent me the Nike stuff. So like they already knew <laughs> what our family was. So yeah, I mean, I like to pick out my own my own gear. You know, I'm not to the point where my wife picks my clothes yet we're yeah, not me, there yeah, me coming neither. soon coming soon probably but we're not at that dad stage yet so i still like to pick out the merch for sure and, and dick's already hooked, hooked me up with the nike stuff so yes. they were right online with the rest of my family 
hold on for dear life, man. We can't let them dress us. Um, no, not yet. All right, uh, we're going to take a quick break, uh, and then we come back, Dub Dot and I, are, we're going to break down some headlines in college football, man. We're going to talk mm-hmm. some college football, Big Ten, maybe some Buckeyes. Um, chat, before we go, you guys have been great so far. We want you to make your prediction on this question. Who do you think is going to win the Heisman Trophy this year? Okay, drop mm. the name in the chat. And uh, we will be right back. All right. Welcome back to Leinert's College Football Legends. Uh, if you're just joining us, Dub Dot put a whooping on me. I think it was 36-19. It really actually was closer than that. Um, but there's a reason why he is a, a champion in football uh, gaming. Mm-hmm. Um, but before we dive into college football and some of the headlines, I, I just asked the chat, uh, about who they think is going to win the Heisman Trophy this year. Dub that. What do you got before uh, before we put that up? Well, I mean, from watching or uh, from playing college football for a month, uh, Jalen Milrow is pretty much the greatest player ever. You know, that's I can't wait to watch him play on Sundays after playing him millions of times this last month. I mean, he is absolutely the best player in the game. So I'm excited to see how how it translates for the most part. I, uh, what about you, man? You kind of, uh, you know what? Leader. That's you a like? good, that's actually a good, uh, that's a good, Kalen DeBoer, the new coach comes over from Washington. We saw what he mm-hmm. did with Michael Penix last year. Uh, Milrow, a little bit more of a runner. I think he needs to fine tune the passing, but as far as the Heisman and what they can do in that offense, um, I think he's got a chance. I, I'm looking at the chat. I mean, obviously Milrow, I think Carson Beck at Georgia, um, you look at uh, some people the Ollie Gordon, the running back for Oklahoma state. We haven't had, I don't know the last running back we've had. I should know this. Um, I think the lot last non quarterback was Devonte Smith from Alabama. Mm-hmm. Yep. I want to say that. Um, but, um, uh, we're going to have, we got some guys, man. We've got a Shador Sanders up in there. We'll see if they win enough games. Uh, I like Milrow Carson Beck Quinn Ewers from Texas is another one. Um, Mm-hmm. But uh, let's see. Let's let's put up what the chat thinks. I and mean, we've got everybody. We've got Shador Sanders. Did we do a poll? I don't think we did a poll. We just got a lot of different names. Dylan Gabriel, uh, Carson Beck. There you go. Um, I like your pick, Milro. Milro also balled last year in the last couple games of the season. But um, and uh, yeah. Anyway, all right, dude. Hey, let's talk some college football, man. Yeah. Let's talk. A, let's talk sure. a little. Uh, let's talk a little Big Ten. Mm-hmm. You're an Ohio State fan. Mm-hmm. Um, SC is coming to the Big Ten, which is still weird to think about. SC, Super UCLA, weird. Washington, and Oregon. What are mm-hmm. your What are your thoughts just overall on on kind of this whole conference realignment and just these new teams coming to the Big Ten as a Buckeye fan? Uh, one, I mean, diff- definitely different play styles. I mean, I think more everybody's going to more of a spread out kind of unless you're Iowa or you know you're still stuck in those type of type of play <laughs> styles. But uh so I think everybody's kind of adapting, you know, essentially, you know, what the Pac-12 and, or the Big 12 had for, you know, what 15 years at least now, you know. Uh so uh everybody's kind of adapting that so but it's going to be interesting to see can these high high spread offenses like Oregon and stuff go into Iowa or Penn State or something and and have that type of, you know, just speed and everything like that against those defenses of the Big Ten. It's going to be kind of a right. clash of styles. And and it's also, I mean, these are big boy flights now. Like, this is just the, the, the growth of college football that, like, now you got, I mean, Maryland, I think, is in the, in the Big Ten, too, or Rutgers, or all these, you got teams all the way from the East Coast going all the way to UCLA or going all the way to, you know, SC and all the way across the country now. So it's going to be a lot of traveling for these kids and everything like that. So, uh, it's going to be an adjustment for them, and it's going to it's going to be fun to watch to see who comes on top and all these these great teams in one conference. Yeah, no, it's it's absolutely stacked. Obviously, Oregon preseason is going to be really really good. Um, mm-hmm. and, and as far as like the travel, I know one of the kind of the things when they were doing these schedules, uh, just because I'm heavily involved in college football, was obviously no back to back East Coast trips or West Coast trips. Mm-hmm. So I do think the travel in relation to school and all that can be taxing a little bit, but. Football is probably easier, I'd say, than some of the other sports because you're just going once a week. But uh, that will be interesting, especially, as you said, just the style of play. And then also USC, you know, going to, you know, they don't go there this year. But, you know, Michigan in late November or something like that. That's going to be pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, I want to ask you about your Buckeyes. I, I will yeah. say this. I did something on social media a couple of weeks ago. I did a playoff thing and I had them winning it all. And I think 
on paper with the transfer portal. Um, kind of, I think Michigan's had their number. Michigan's going to be a little bit down this year. I think Ohio State's going to win it all. What are your thoughts on the Buckeyes? You just beat you just beat me down with them. So what do you think? Um, well, they've been disappointing me the last couple of years. Well, I told you earlier yes. that I'm from Philly, so college yes. football wasn't when I grew up. Uh, you know, Philly's a pro town. You know, it's much like New York or anything. Like we're pro NFL over college. You know, and I was. I mean, you kind of naturally become a Penn State fan because that's Philly. But Penn State is pretty much Pittsburgh. I mean, if you yeah. don't go to the school, it's not really like I've never been there or anything like that. It was just kind of, uh, kind of you know what you did when you were from Philly and you tried to be a diehard sports fans. But then my son was born in Columbus. I live in Ohio now. Adopted them for the last you know four years or so. And and I every time I sit there and I watch Michigan just maul them. And I said, <laughs> I, you know, like the the Philly sports, the Eagles and everything. I was I, I had no choice, right? Because that's I'm a home home team guy. I was born into that. Like I didn't choose them. They that's where I'm from. So you know that's the passion I have with them. I chose Ohio State. So essentially, I chose to be disappointed every single the last couple of years. <laughs> you know, just be disappointed with all this excitement just for them to. And the way they went out to Michigan the last couple of years, it wasn't even oh, like it was just dude. it was just a like we're going to take you behind the woodshed and just just beat you down. And it, it was just it wasn't even like they were like a more talented team or fast or anything. They were just more physical and they wanted it more. And that's like the most disappointing way to like go out and you're just watching them like, you know, like second and eight. They're just running the ball for six yards, third and just four. Power, running just the power ball. And play. it's just like, dude, and as a Madden player, I'm like, run, commit, like put like just blitz more. <laughs> beat. And they just couldn't. It was just miserable, man. And it's a tough way to go out. So but I'm hoping after Harbaugh dipped, you know, things got a little sketchy there in Michigan. And he said, I'm going to the NFL. So, boom, hopefully they take a hit. And it, like you said, it is Ohio State's conference. It is theirs to lose now because, I mean, naturally when you go from, you know, a great coach like that to back up I mean, or to, you know, the next coach, you should take a little bit of a hit. We'll see if they keep the ball running there in Michigan. But uh, for me, uh, I think it's yeah, obviously, yeah, it's their conference to lose. And that's pretty much what Ryan Day is, what his situation is. Like, dude, you beat Michigan or you're gone at this point. Because yep. they beat everybody else, but they keep losing to Michigan. That, that you're, that's what you're there to do. And here, in, here, in, and what I learned being here for four or five years is like, so you're like Michigan, you, are, you know everything about the Buckeyes. No, I love this. beating Michigan is more important than dude. winning the other games. In Ohio, they that's would fair. rather beat Michigan and lose every other game than yep. what they've been doing the last couple of years, and, and yep. which is winning every game but getting embarrassed by Michigan. So – they got to turn up. They got to figure it out. Uh, I'm excited for it for sure. I mean, it's dope. Like, and being being in this state and in Columbus and Cleveland and just just feeling that because, like I said, I didn't have that growing up and getting kind of like, you know, just introduced into all the atmosphere. It's been awesome, and this game has just made made me that much closer to the entire landscape of college football. So, super excited for this season. Dude, you said uh, Urban Meyer, who's on the show with me for for Big Noon Kickoff, and he was like literally you just like you said you lose to michigan you could get to a college football playoff or you could do you could win a rose bowl finish 12-1 but if that only losses to michigan he said for 364 days following that that they are miserable and mm -hmm. as you said ryan day who's i think ryan day is a really good coach but the expectation is if you lose i mean if you lose two games at ohio state it's a failed season and if one of those are at michigan so I think there's a lot of pressure on this year. They're they're stacked, man. Like like this is the year. I think Michigan's a little down. Penn State's going to be good, but this is kind of the year. Plus, it's a 12 team playoff. Um, real quick, rivalries. We're ta we're talking Ohio State, Michigan. Um, for me, our two biggest rivalries were UCLA, which at the time really wasn't a big rivalry. Notre Dame was a bigger rival rivalry for me. Um, kind of a fun, just just historical tradition, rich rivalry. How about what, what do you think could be a fun new rivalry for USC as they go? I mean, we've had the big we've had the old Rose Bowl, which was Big Ten, Pac-12. So you always had like SC, Michigan. I played Michigan in a Rose Bowl, which was awesome. What would be kind of a fun rival rivalry for USC? Ohio State, Michigan, maybe Wisconsin. I mean, I mean Penn State uh, and Penn State. Yeah, you know, I, I think they take the cake as far as the uh, home field advantage or the whiteout or the atmosphere. Uh, so in good. college, I mean, it's actually unreal. Um, I like preparing for college football. I'm like, all right, let me do some research on all these stadiums and their intros and everything. And 
And I, I watched the, the one clip of Penn State's intro and how they had Michigan calling timeouts and fall starting before the game even started, like the first play of the game. I know. And I was like, all right, this is like legit, you know, so SC going into there uh, would be awesome. And I believe that I believe they played, obviously, like you said, a Rose Bowl and everything like yeah. that. I don't know. I don't know if it was your time or before that. But uh, yeah, I think Penn State, I think it, it, this is the opportunity we have to see all these West Coast teams come in the, you know, yep. the middle of Pennsylvania to Appalachian Mountains and play. And like you said, when it's cold, white out nighttime, that's I mean, it's just it's just, you know, that's the positives of these conferences kind of merging and coming together. 12, 12 team playoff. Um, I don't know how closely you'd followed the college football playoff the last couple of years with four. Uh, mm-hmm. It just went to 12. I think it's probably going to get to 16 here in a couple of years. I think that's that's kind of what they feel like the happy medium is. Um, do you, like what's your overall thought on the playoff? That's obviously 12 this year. I think it, it, it for me, it's kind of like March Madness where we had, you know, it's, it's a little different, but like Gonzaga, right? Gonzaga was was a Cinderella for a long time, but the March Madness and created exposure exposure for that team then now gonzaga is is a perennial top 10 team um i kind of feel like this has an opportunity football is a little bit different obviously but giving more teams a chance man and like we know in sports and you know obviously in sports like anything can happen what what is your just overall feeling on a 12 team playoff i mean it, it's it's great really i mean i'm, I'm sure i mean you guys were always top of the polls and everything when you were there. So it was like, you know, we're win, we're good. But uh, essentially to have those opportunities. And one thing I I kind of like, I being an NFL guy and the difference in, in college was like, if a team loses one game, their season's over. Yeah. So it kind of like, one, it kind of like, one, it makes every game a little sweatier. Like you can't lose at all in college. Like that was kind of like every game is sweaty. But then it's kind of like Ohio State has like the weakest schedule in the history of college football this year, right? And then, like, you know, uh, Michigan has a tough schedule. And it's like, how is that fair? You know, but now with the 12-team playoff, Michigan can afford to lose a game or to, to afford to lose two, you know, whereas, you know, before, like, it's just not fair that, you know, Ohio State has this easier schedule and Michigan's going on the road to stand third all over the place. So just the abil- just the kind of the given teams that, you know, ability to lose a game, have a bad week, but still the ability to show that they're the best team in the country, uh, that's going to be awesome. At the end of the day, man, it's go time. The playoffs, like, yeah, put the best game out there. And there's nothing better than single elimination sports. Uh, we saw that this week with, with you know, the, the Olympic basketball. It's just such a different atmosphere when you're just one game. There's no game two, game seven, game six. Like, that was so dude, good, you got to show up at the moment and you got to put the big boy pants on. And that's what the playoffs yep. are about. And, and like you said, any given Saturday or Sunday or whatever, like, if a team has the right, the right game plan and a couple things go their way and they build that – confidence and momentum anything can happen so definitely excited about you know that 12 team getting in that 11 team or the auto bids from other conferences right and they do uh, yeah it's gonna the more playoff teams the better you know that's that's what it should be that's, that's how, how the end yeah. been fueled, you know that's awesome man 12 team playoffs college football is back in a couple of weeks and you know what else is back back to school shopping which also can be a hassle but Dick Sporting Goods makes it easy. They have all the best brands, guys, and trends, including exclusive items you can't get anywhere else, which means I can reduce the number of stores I go to by getting everything I need in one place. I mean, the fit we're both wearing, I think, right now is from from Dick Sporting Goods. I got the Verse shirt on. I got the Hoka shoes behind me, um, courtesy of Dick Sporting Goods. So shout out to them. We appreciate you guys. Uh, for sending us great stuff. Also, heads up, Dick Sporting Goods is giving away five $50 gift cards. Again, five $50 gift cards for your back-to-school shopping. Type hashtag win your year with Dick Sporting Goods in the chat for your chance to win one of those gift cards. So, again, shout-out to Dick Sporting Goods for sponsoring the show uh, and obviously lacing us up with some cool stuff. Um, all right, it's, uh, it's time for another break. When we come back, round two one for the first game the first game was a little better than i expected but i have a feeling this one might be worse but uh round two of our 1v1 battle before we go chat i have another question for you okay this one's actually hard dub dot this one's hard yep. since the ap poll era began in 1936 Jeez. how many different schools i know how many different schools have won a national championship i mean this is just a guess okay it's like 100 chat, well, think about it. We'll, we'll talk about it after the break. Uh, drop your answers in the chat, and we'll be right back, guys. Boom, boom. I love it. Welcome back, guys, to Leinert's College Football Legends. Uh, shout out to Dub Dot, but shout out to all the, the chat, man, everyone that's joining us today. 
Uh, it's been a lot of fun. You guys have been great. Uh, we appreciate you guys supporting us with this. Shout out to Dick Sporting Goods for, for sponsoring the show. Um, but I just asked this chat question, uh, which I think is almost impossible, but we'll see. How many different schools have won a national title since the AP era began in 1936? Honestly, I have no idea. Uh, we see that set. Killa, CAB93, 73. Um, I mean, do you have a guess? I mean, I have no idea. You just throw a number. Right. 1936. I mean, my guess, 1936, we're looking at 90 years about, you know, so you, I'd probably go like 90 and then divide that by three, maybe, or divide by four. So I, I'm looking at probably, I'm going... Because there's a lot of teams that won multiple. You know, a lot of teams had right. big runs at Notre Dame, Nebraska, you know. I mean, so I'm thinking I'm thinking around 40, 40 on a number. I'm going 40 straight. All right. So I, that's pretty close. I have the number. I'm going to – okay, 40 is not the correct answer. I'm going to give you one chance. But mm -hmm. one more chance. But you are close. But I'm not going to tell you if it's over and under. 41. 33. Oh, I was that close. Bad. Sorry, third, you were at snap, but you were you, you were really. four divided. Yeah, you, you were. Know, I really yeah. thought. What did I say? Ninety years divided by three would have been thirty. That's stand up. Yeah, I know you're close. You know? Anyway, thirty-three different national champions since nineteen thirty. Who's, who's won the most? That I don't right. know. Maybe who we can find like that out. We'll put we'll that up. We'll find out uh, who's won the most. Um, all right, y'all. We are getting ready to play round two. Uh, again, we're gonna ask the chat. Who's winning this one? Um, if you've just joined us, dub dot smoke me 36 to 19. I did throw a pick six with about 20 seconds left, so it was really about 29 19. Uh, the game was never in doubt. So, anyway, I do appreciate you guys. But if you think I'm going to win, vote by typing hashtag liner in the chat. If you think dub dot's going to win, type in uh, hashtag dub dot. You guys can go ahead and vote now. And, dude, real quick, I want to ask you what what is uh, what's the meaning behind dub dot? Huh. Well, Dub Dot, um, my nickname is Dubby. It was Dubby. I grew up in okay. Philly. I grew up, you know, uh, I was the white guy, you know, pretty much, you know, playing sports <laughs> and everything like that. So it became white boy really quick. And then that became WB. And then that essentially just became Dubby. And Dub Dot was just the first name I always put on my creative players when I played with my boys. So uh, Dubby showed up on the feet of like my basketball player because we would play like make a creative player on your team when I was like 14 or 15 and stuff. And uh, so Dub Dot was just like the first name I gave my creative player. Really, that's all. And then it became, you know, my my, my nickname in real life. It's not really a game of tag or anything like that with my boys uh, in Philly. And uh, you know, it just carried over, and here we are. You know, twenty five years later. You know, I love it, man. Yeah. I love it. Um, all right, who does the chat think? I mean, it's leaning to you, it's leaning towards you guys right now, or to you, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, listen, all, all the all the people voting for me, I appreciate you guys. You don't have to do that just because you feel bad. You can vote for him. Mm -hmm. What do we got? Dub dot to vote hashtag right hashtag liner or hashtag dub dot. We're getting ready for round two here pretty soon. I mean, I we got to win think, this. I got to get in the chat and come on, dude. Come on, chatters. I think you're the I think you're the winner, dude. I mean, I, I don't know. I see the meter. Who won? Do we have it? Do we have it up? Oh, the chat picked me to win again. Why? Why are you doing this? I mean, there, I mean, more pressure kind of on me to keep it. What? Okay, real quick, real quick, before I get into the rules, what's the spread of this game? I mean, it depends on what team we're gonna have, really. Um, I, I it's gonna be. Uh, it, it really does depend on what team, because I, I, you know, I, right. you know. I'll right, well, I'll ask you that. I'll we'll ask see. you that before we start. We'll All right, this round two. We'll this, round we'll two. See. Round two. Rules are the same. Now we can pick any team we want. Mm -hmm. All right, so it won't be as lopsided. All right, so choose any team. We'll pick good ones, obviously. The stadium has to be a bowl game venue. It may accidentally be a home field. I don't know. I, I haven't mm -hmm. decided yet. Four-minute quarters, uh, running clock, same as last time. Um, let's run it back, dude. You're up 1-0. Yep, that's right. All right, we got All that. Right. Any team. I'm already diving into this. You, I mean, you did say Alabama gives you fits. You have B Alabama, B Alabama. This you, is what oh, they want. Probably, this is you, what they want. Yeah, please. Want, because you know how to stop yes. them. No, I have zero shot, dude. I'm going to lose my mind. But okay, yes. all right. Now what we all do, right. Matt, is we do random, right? We do random regs. This is what we call a random regs. Now this is what we're gonna do. All right. I'm gonna, gonna get three random. Yes. All right, I'm gonna get three. All right. Yep. 
You're, yep. you're allowed to cancel one. So if I land on Texas, you can say, no, you can't use Texas. Okay. All right. And then but I got to cancel get, I, the worst I get team. one cancel. Yeah, you get of my three teams okay. I get, you're allowed to remove one that I can't use. All right, you. All okay. right. Now, now I got to yep. remove the worst. Team. So I pretty much use the middle team of the three that okay. I get, essentially. All right. All right, let's go. Here we go. Okay. Colorado State. That's tough. That's tough. All right. Syracuse is pretty good. <laughs> and then Clemson. All right, so we did all right. We did all right. All right, you're, I, I'm getting rid of Clemson. You know, Syracuse is pretty good. All right. I would we'll say Syracuse is your middle one. Their overall was 85. That was actually they're, pretty they're good. They're pretty good. I don't play too well with them, but that's when I have to use their playbook. Be a man and Are do another going? suicide. We're doing suicide. That's what we do right now. Suicide right. means one more, and I got to bid no matter what. Wait, Syracuse one more. Is, All right. Okay. Yeah, and, and it's a suicide. That means there's no change. No matter what. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Here it's we a go. basketball All school, right. baby. Let's go. All right. That's tough. That's tough. Alabama, That's a suicide. Duke. That's a suicide. All right. Now I can't lie. I gotta give. I gotta give no spread on this. I have to. You know, By this the way, is like Alabama. Duke is accidentally playing at Bryant Denny Stadium in oh Tuscaloosa. <laughs> and we're on the road. And we're on the road. Oh my gosh, Chad. Bet accordingly. Oh my goodness. Straight up. By the way, I mean, Danny Dimes, baby. Danny Dimes. You probably can't stand Danny Dimes being a. Well, I mean. Oh, I love him. No, I love him. Oh, I, I was, was going to say, actually, you probably love him. Oh, Danny yeah. <laughs> I love him, dude. You know, he made, he killed their salary cap. Now the Eagles got their best player. Oh. Dad, we love Danny Dimes. I almost might get his jersey. <laughs> If you, I mean, I'm sure people know know you if you had a home game. But if you wore a Danny Dimes jersey to an Eagles game, by the way, we played, we played uh, when I was in Houston. We played Philly on Thanksgiving, and mm -hmm. that's only my only time playing there. And um, it was as it was as advertised as far as just the fans and the hatred they have and the way they treat you on the field. It was absolutely amazing. Uh, by the way, I love that stuff. They were oh, yeah. so bad. Just nasty, dude. Just I love nasty. it too. I hate how people like think it's a bad thing. I'm like, I, dude, I, think, I, I mean, as that, long as like, you're not like yeah. throwing, you know, that, yeah, there's yeah. nothing. Get there's out definitely of control, a line. But like, and all, dude, all it takes is right. one person to, you know, to then give the whole city a bad, bad rep. You know? Yeah, but that, I mean, that's, I love that stuff, man. No, come here. Oh, oh, see, that's the team. I don't get that. Oh, and the difference is going to be just like our last one. I got to see who I got on my team here. I don't know who's on this team. Let's see. <laughs> you lost right, your starting quarterback. He's now the quarterback for Notre Dame. Malik Murphy. I got an 84. Oh, you got. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. He was at. He's he's a big old dude. He could run, too. Six, five. He's got 79 yeah. speed. Back up. Uh, nah, rock with he's him. but he's big and strong. He was at Texas. He's, he's definitely not bad. The yeah, LA kid too. So I'm a nerd too. If you're if you're fast, you play. That's kind of. I mean, you know, there's a there's not really a difference between a 60 overall and a 75 for me. It's like okay, if you're fast, if you're you in can the 80s, get on. Yeah. yeah. You know. All right, this is not looking too I mean, hot. Let's go, dude. I mean, what do you got I'm, here? This this is yeah. where this is where you this is where you put your coaching hat on and you just out scheme me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I I do this a lot. Like this is like what I've done for a month is play Alabama with the worst possible teams and it's an absolute nightmare because of Milrow. Why why because are you playing so against Alabama? Catch. A lot of guys you play are th are them? Oh, everybody online picks them. Do you really? And if I, I, I would if I were to pick Cole House later Alabama it wouldn't be fun. Like it would just full, be like full disclosure. Boring. I mean, this is the first time I've ever played with them, so I don't even know their oh. and I'm using their playbook, so oh, I mean, you have Milrow. You'll Milrow is like Zeus. Yeah, they they <laughs> they, they, they love watching me try to are you ready? Milrow. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. They love watching me try to contain Milrow with, you know, 72 speed linebackers. It's, you know, it's the life I live here. Oh, we, we're, we got a shot here. By I the like way, I'm not, I'm not, I mean, I, I'm not confident in this game. So I'm just letting you all know. I'm not exactly confident in this game. You and your defense. Yeah, I'm, I'm lucky that. Oh, I forgot this isn't random race. Throw it. <laughs> oh man. What do you know? What do you say, Chief?
I'm not okay. gonna live and die by this. Yeah. Was, yeah. You're playing. This is this film like online right no, now. No, Let's no, go. no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm Let's not one go. of those. I mean, I'm not. That's right. That's what he does. I'm not one of those. But that was a terrible. Like, what are we doing? All right. I like this. I like. Oh, I like this. Oh my gosh. Fight, kid. Second. You're, oh man. All right, that's about the third screen you thought. I gotta take a mental note here. Boundary trips. Gotta be speed option. Oh no. All right, all right, all right, all right. Gotta dial it in here. This is my weakness too on the defense. What? This formation. This formation. See, this is the different. This is the difference when you don't have a good defensive line. You're not wrong. And I, I go through how do I, what US. should I do about it? What should I do about it when I don't have the personnel? Do I, I blitz think, everybody? I do I that easy. do I? Oh my gosh, we're dead. Well, well, welcome to my life the last month. I mean, that was just a QB power. <laughs> that was just a little QB power. Talk oh, to yeah, him, Jalen. Yeah. Talk oh, to him. Man. All right, we just got to score. That's my philosophy. Let him, let That's my, know really my philosophy. You know, you can't Listen, rely on defense. You know, it's not, you know, by I the way, do so much. I'm making, I'm him. making you better in this game. So you should thank me. I'm making you better by you, by me playing Alabama and you playing with one of the worst teams in the game. No, this is, I mean, by the way, you could have played with Syracuse. That was your no, call. No, 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 no. I love this. I live for this. You understand? I, I absolutely like. I, I wake up and just it's coffee. And how am I going to stop Milro with you know <laughs> these guys? It's literally what I. This is what I live for here. You know who's good in this game? I don't. Have you played Michigan? The quarterback of Michigan is pretty good. Orgy, Orgy is, his last is name. the. He's 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 uh you know he's, he's very he's much Milro. Oh, and their goodness. offense yeah, is just he's like, Milro Junior. Yeah. This is this is I mean. You don't learn anything, huh? <laughs> I mean, three yards. I mean, three yards, you get a first down with four of those. Uh, that's fine. This is the number two stadium in the world right now. Oh, uh, I knew that was coming. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm scared. <laughs> what am I doing? Well, I know you're not going to run the ball. I know you can't run on my D, that's why. So. Oh, my goodness. Just... There we go. There we go. Rally. All right. All right. Let's see. We got to mix this up a little bit. What are what are players we're playing here? I gotta sweat this out, Bruce. I'm sorry. Cover zero right here. What's that? You want to cover three? Are we playing four minutes? Yeah. What same as last this? time. Yeah, we can take this with us, boys. We can. Take that one fit. That one fit. That quarter felt pretty fast. Yeah, we can. We can take this with us. But well, we always call this double dip and chip right here. You know, running the same play. No, no, no. getting scoring before half right here, and then getting oh. the ball to half time, and you don't get the ball, and then you're going to be down by seven, and you're going to be nervous, and you're going to throw a pick with Milrow. <laughs> but for me to actively, I can't throw hot routes. I'm on the road. Get down, kid. Good catch. For me to actively take this clock here with, with uh, Duke would be a feat. Oh. Uh, I love the option in this game. Oh, it's good. It's fun. It's such a good, it's it's such a good play. It's different than Madden. That's what makes it. You know, yeah, Madden, you can't really fun. run that, right? I mean, you don't. I mean, you don't no, really I'm run really it in the playbook unless you're Lamar, maybe. Cover zero. Stand down. So clock's gonna run anyway. First half. Two minute warning, boys. <clears throat> this is what you gotta do if you're. Du oh no, I can't get this one more. If you're Duke on the road, you just gotta shorten the game. Hope they make mistakes. Ah, that's good defense. And we're not at the two-minute warning. Trolling. Yeah. 
it's tough it's tough to, to to like throw that running back pass and get those two yards and three yards you're not getting as much with duke as you were with uh ohio know. state you know and it's like do i have the patience they like it's open oh no no it's not oh, i pump fake it god the defense did he cross the line did you cross the line of scrimmage no 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 that was that was good defense well, almost do a pick six but i i ate it I love this play call here. Stay in bounds and oh no, I knew that's that was, miserable. Yeah. I should have waited one more click so he stopped. I mean, what do you do? What do you do? I can't kick this because if I kick, I I, I just look at fourteen three and that's a hole. I have to score a touchdown here to win this game. I know I had a hey, chat. Th thanks, boys. I appreciate it. The more offensive coordinators <laughs> I have in the chat watching the game, the better I play. Honestly, please. The dude hasn't covered the running back in a whole hour. He covered it that play. I was surprised. It was my fault. That's a dot on fourth. Oh, big nice time play. throw, did. Big time the throw there. That was a nice play. That was a nice Let's play. Go. Let's go on conservative so we don't put the ball on the ground. See, my offensive coordinator told me to throw to A. I, you know, I kind of relied on it there. Because the running back wasn't getting seven yards there. It just wasn't. I love this play right here, too. Love it. One of my favorite plays. Oh, you actually, like, usered the guy I was reading. That was, damn. Well, ah, I had Blitz Zero right there. That's tough. That's right when you play that Blitz Zero, baby. Let's go. Ooh, I like this. I like this. Oh, he covered the running back again. He's locked this game. He's locked. He's locked. Oh, my goodness. He's locked. We're actually going to do this right here. Mm. He is locked right now. He is locked. This is where I can take three because I get the ball. I used enough of the clock to where I, you won't score again, so I can kick a field goal here. Although, I don't think I've kicked a field goal on the road in Alabama with Duke. I don't think I've done that. So I, I'd almost run here and just make the field goal a little bit easier, but nobody wants to see that. You're not going to run. I'm not. I'm going to make a play here. Wow, well, almost a pick six. Oh, my goodness. Let's kick that field goal, man. You need three points. I am. I know. I, we need to. We gotta sweat this right here. I told you. Oh my goodness! I, I'm embarrassed. This is. <laughs> oh Dude, God. I missed so many. I missed so many kicks in my season because of this. Oh, oh, this. No. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, by the that way, that was disgusting. You gave me too much time. Imagine. No. So, that no. That was crazy. That, that, oh, I can't believe I smoked that. Nothing. You're dead. Send him blitz. Ooh. Oh, I had him. I can't believe I. Damn, that was big. That was big. Oh, my gosh. Pick six. <laughs> it's possible. That's fine. I'm trying to get rid of that. I don't need it. 7 0. Play safe. Let's go. Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't like I mean, I only it's had tough. one series. We, you, I only had yeah, one I know. Series. I know. That's, that's, I can't give them a little the ball too much, but I smoked it by getting no points, so I'm in a hole. I'm in a tough spot. So now it's like I got to score fast. I got to get another possession this half. Yeah. That makes sense. You got to like get can't... probably yeah. two possessions. That's my, and that's the only way I win the game is two possessions. I can't win the game with just one. So I got to I got to like my tempo's got to be faster here, or I could take eight minutes and go for two on you. But that's a little egregious. I mean, if you think you got it, I don't. I can't do that. I can't do high routes, dude. It's just like. I'm in a bad spot right here. 
I mean, what are we doing? Ooh, nice move. That, I mean, that's not happening. That play's not happening. That's very far. Yeah, rolling to your right, throwing cross body. I didn't move. You thought I rolled? That's just kind of like, you know, well, there's a mad liner step to the right right there. Yeah. Dude, my guy had no idea what route I was putting him on. Oh, no, this I is kind of. I almost kind of want to let you score. That's, I mean, I mean, not that I'm going to let, I'm not, I mean, I'm trying to play here. Let's see. No, you got to try to make me take the whole quarter because then you get the last quarter for the game. Perfect, kid. Good ball, baby. Good ball. I screwed up with my backer, dude. Uh, I'm ah. Good ball, kid. Good ball for the batters. The Blue Devils. Let's go. Let's go. Chat, what we think? 7-7. Seven, seven. I don't, I honestly, like, playing you, I'm not, I don't feel, I don't feel good about this. Like, I'm playing a guy, I'm playing, like, legendary. Let's I'm, go. I'm, I'm, I'm like. All right, here we go, boys. Come here. Oh, my goodness. I timed that so perfectly. Oh. All right, who's my line? He is a 67 overall linebacker. Oh, my God. He just. <laughs> I mean, that was lucky, dude. I mean, that's just. I put the fast guy in to be fast, but he doesn't have any tackling, you know? It's the weakness. I mean, yeah, you're in a little bit of a dilemma there, dude. Yeah, I, I go speed over tackling, though. We got to run around here, especially to chase Milro. You're going to throw a pick, though. You're a man that likes to throw some picks. Here we go. Ah, ah. Send a spy. Click on this guy. Throw it. I told oh, you you would throw no. a pick, man. I told you you would throw a pick. I told you. You don't play a lot of people with, with fingers as quick as mine, man. I knew that was going to happen. The Blue Devils. Come on, man, for the betters. What am I doing, dude? I just, <clears throat> I just panic. Yeah, you're nervous, man. The quarterback's a hard position, bro. You know, we're just, we just have nobody else out here, here, coach. He's playing in gauge eight. I saw it. that was a rage. I call that a rage. <laughs> I call that a rage blitz when somebody turns the ball over the next play. Like, I want, oh, yeah, I just want, I was, honestly, I want you to score because I can't. I want. I want the ball back. Fumble. No, 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 no. We're on conservative. You know, there's a setting where you can like put your ball carrier on conservative, so they can't do moves, but they won't fumble as easy. <clears throat> I didn't know that. Is that what he's yeah. on right now? Yeah, yeah. So I'm not because like I don't have guys that are gonna make jukes on Alabama. So I'd rather just not fumble. I'm gonna get hurt. It's a touchdown. Oh, I can't do hot routes. Never mind. Oh, you want that fade to the right? I see you. All right, yeah, I want the out route, but I can't. It won't let me put him on it. Yes, yeah, so he's on the drag. I'm dead. Oh, oh my fumble. goodness. Come on, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, come on. This is a tough spot. Ah, I got Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You ain't seen this one yet. 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 Gotta open up the bag sometimes. Oh, my goodness. That... <laughs> no. Oh, that backer's playing on Sundays. Oh, my goodness. He took my guard and just tackled my running back with my guard. Fours up, fours up, fours up. Fours ah, up, baby. Boys. Hey, let's boys. Let's go. Seven, seven. Seven, seven. Hey, listen, Meg Z Cool. All right. Like, you're all over me in this chat. I'm literally playing a <laughs> professional gamer. I, give me a break here, dude. I'm just playing. Oh, By the way, I haven't goodness. lost yet. What are we doing? Are we kicking the field goal? Oh, are you kicking a field goal? Is that not kicking a field goal? Yes, I am. I'm being an adult here. Yes. Wow. Oh my goodness, wow. this one is sweaty. I'm being an adult here. Oh! 
Oh, oh my god, no! No! This is what you said! There's no way! There's no way! Hey! There's no way that was a mess! There's no way! I couldn't have hit that better! I could not have hit... There's no way! This is real! This is egregious! No! I want to play a challenge! Uh, no! Dude, I'm, what? I'm sweating. Dude, I'm sweating. That There's no happen. way that was real! Get there, get there, get there. Come here. Come here. Oh, this is no. By the way, way. you're gonna ha you're gonna have to stop my run now, dude. I'm not even I'm not even attempting to pass. There's no way we missed two oh. field goals. My gosh. I didn't even think that was bad though. I thought that was like the chat see chat saw the kick. It was empty. You know what we do that. Yeah, empty. dude, I'm trying to spread you out. I gotta I gotta keep you running here. There you go. Oh. Come on, coach. You didn't like that at all. You didn't like that at all. I was, by the way, I wasn't. Yeah, sure this you didn't like that at all. I don't know who I'm using. Goodness, boys, we got to go for it all here. We got to just. Ah. Uh -huh. Good good oh, break tackles, that tackle. Good tackles, good tackles, good tackles. Oh, uh -huh. Who is this guy? I don't know who I'm putting in the game here. Just I just assume that they're a linebacker. All right, this is the motion outplay here. Or it's a power. Nice job, boys. Good work. Third and long for the kid. He hates these situations. This is not Milrose strong suit. <laughs> this is not where he wants to be. Right now, he's scrolling through the plays looking for a diamond in the rough. Gun normal <laughs> flex snug. Is that the diamond? <laughs> Don't think so. Uh... Don't think so. Oh, they ran into each oh, other. Dude, that's a pick. You're playing Duke. Please go for this and give me the ball right here to make a field. Oh. The oh, great Alabama. What are punting the ball through against Duke and giving us an opportunity for a legacy drive? For a legacy drive. I right, get away. They know how they cheat. They cheat for him on punts. We got to get away. All right. For a legacy drive. What's this kid's name again? I got a quarterback. Murphy. Your opportunity is here, kid. Make some reads. The stadium pulse is going nuts. Can't make any hot routes. Don't need him. Because he doesn't guard the running back. Nice play. Come on, more. Come on, more. Nice. Nice. On, That's that how you right start there. a guap drive right there. Nice little game. He doesn't guard the running back, boys. I'm not kicking a field goal. I've seen all I need to see out of field goals. That dude is not touching the grass again, all right? <laughs> let, let. Let's go up again. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Stop. 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 Let's go, Murphy. Let's go, Murphy. In the field goal range. That's a big boy throw on the run in Alabama. <laughs> Take some time here in case we got to kick this. He won't have any. He won't have any to score again. Come on. Game management is what we what we excel at. He's on the defensive oh, end. Come coach. on. Come on, man. Let's go. No, 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 no. Well, this is how you get in massive upsets on the road here. Yeah, Murphy. 
Yeah, Murphy. Yeah, Murphy. Oh. We have a couple of those timeouts. We have a couple By the way, I had that, man. Too. I tackled the running back. Mm, that's, that's the power read. That's the power read. That's what it does. Confuses them. Mm-hmm. The power read. The power read. Mm-hmm. Can I have another one of those timeouts, sir? Can I have another one of those? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate those. Mm, just coming into Alabama and taking it to them. This is what they love to see. This is what college football is about. This is what the college football playoff is about. I can't do audibles right here, and this is not a good power read look. Can we do an audible here, Murphy? I'm going to be honest. I don't think you have what it takes to do audibles in Brian Denny. Cover zero for the block. Holy audibles to cover two to the block. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the last time out. That's tough. This is this is a slow bleed, isn't it? This I mean, bro, you, it's going to come down to you kicking a field goal. No, it's not. I'm getting in. I'm getting in. Right, I'm getting in. Don't, don't mess around too much because you know you're not going to make it. I'm so scared. All right. Um, I got to play for it. Am I on two o'clock? I'm not. All right. Center it up. That's good comps. I don't want to go away here with a field goal. Like, I feel like that's like. Murphy? 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 Let's go, boys. Murphy. Legacy drive for the kid. Legacy drive, Murphy. Legacy. In Alabama. Oh, why are my extra points so easy? All right, we got time. We got 20 seconds. We got 20 seconds. I can't believe I threw a pick with Jalen Milrow. I can't believe you punted. Punting is the first step to losing football games. Here we go. 20 seconds left. Some would say, been here before. Trip's over? There's no way there's a good play out of this. Ten. Ah, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Nothing cute here, nothing cute, nothing cute, nothing cute. Press the point, man. He doesn't. Oh, I missed. Oh, I pressed that guy though. Oh, come on, dude. That's me. The Duke oh, Blue Devils go into Alabama. And get the dubski. That's tough. <laughs> that's so tough. Pissed. I'm gonna say I'm so pissed right now. I'm so. That's pissed. tough. I, I mean, that's tough. I mean, that's tough. Yeah, that's tough. Murphy, though. I mean, listen, legacy drive. It's tough. Mm. Mm. Honestly, man. Honestly, I don't even know what to say. Chat's all over me right now. I, I mean, I gotta go take a look at what. I mean, listen. It's a short game. You know, the longer the game goes on, the more chance you have to win. So we shortened the game. No, you know, we fine, shortened dude. it. It came down to us stopping the run. Duke stepped up, stopped the run, got you to a third and long. I mean, the, pro the problem is, is when you don't, if you, I mean, I had three total series. I think. Mm, exactly. I had one series in the first half. Yeah. <sighs> Man. I mean, oh, that's, I mean, man. You know, I that's wanna, what that's what we do. Up, like, I when just I hang up on you, dude. All right, yeah. let's, uh, let's give like the chat some love, but we got to give Dick Sporting Goods obviously um, some love too. But uh, 
Listen, man, I want to thank you for being on the show, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're going to drop some free subs, uh, courtesy of Dick Sporting Goods. Shout out to them for the free subs. Uh, mm, appreciate everybody is. joining us, man. We had a, a great audience for the last couple hours, and I've said it all show. Uh, Dick Sporting Goods really does have everything you need, guys, for back to school. We're all almost there as families, whether you got little kids or teenagers. I got both. Um, it's almost back to school time. Win your year with top brands like Nike, Adidas, FP Movement, New Balance, Jordan, and more. Um, we're almost done. We have a couple more minutes before. Um, gosh, man, dude, I am like, honestly, I'm pissed right now, dude. I'm pissed. That's tough. Dude. And I'm just, I mean, I'm not even talking about the game. I'm going to talk about uh, CJ Stroud. I'm just, I'm just going into CJ Stroud. I'm going into NFL, Ohio State Buckeye. What do you think for year two with CJ Stroud? I'm, I've, I'm not talking about the game, so you can just move on. All right, we can, all right, we can move on. But, I mean, but shout out to Murphy, by the way, before you start. That was, I mean, that was a moment right there, kid. I'm going to be tuned in to Duke this year, see if they can get it done. You know, I guarantee, yeah. I guarantee that you will not watch one Duke game this year. Uh, well, listen, this game motivated me before this game. Yeah, I don't even, I don't even know that they played football, but now, oh man, Murphy, listen, can't might get his jersey. Let me go check out Amazon. They got it. You know, check out, see if they got the jersey. But uh, yeah, Stroud, I'm ready, dude. I think they should be good. Uh, they should be, I guess, favorites in the AFC South now because, yeah. I mean, who else is, you know, out there, really? I mean, the Colts, Anthony Richardson coming back off his uh, rookie year after he got hurt. They're excited about him. Uh, they should be really good. And obviously, Trevor Lawrence, are they going to put it together in Jacksonville? We've been waiting for this, like, breakthrough right. with Trevor Lawrence. He got paid. A uh, lot of pressure on them. I, I mean, my boy Doug, Eagle coach, he brought the Eagles to Super Bowl. So a lot of pressure on them down there in Jacksonville. It's a make or break year for them pretty soon, especially because they're probably third place, at least in the division there. So that's going to be a really good division, really. Uh, just real competitive for the most part. But Stroud adding Stefan Diggs to Tank Dell and Nico I Collins know. is going to be like, I know. you know. But, I mean, everybody loves Stroud now, right? His rookie year, oh, my goodness, he's the greatest. Everybody's giving him his flowers, right? It's flower time for C.J. Stroud. He's everybody's darling. And let's see if he can respond to that, you know, because, I mean, some people don't want to become everybody's darling. Uh, I will say, too, obviously, year two, NFL defenses catch up, some of the strengths, but C.J. was great. Um, what's your thought? We're, we're, chat, we're doing a little NFL talk. We got about five minutes left. We're going to close out mm -hmm. with just some NFL talk. Uh, we've obviously been hammering college football 25 and some headlines earlier in the show. Um, I think this one's interesting. You're an Eagles, obviously an Eagles guy through and through. Mm -hmm. Saquon Barkley, where, where in the Eagles? We got to love it, right? Got to be fired up. Yeah, for sure. I think um, I mean, their offense, obviously we have every other piece, you know, just a great dynamic wide receivers. Uh, we have a really good tight end. Offensive line has been great. Uh, they had – uh, DeAndre Swift last year, who I thought was really solid, a solid back. More, of, I don't want to say a scat back, but definitely a more, uh, you know, I guess finesse back, Jukes. And he made a lot of people miss and made some good plays. Yeah, did. The year before they went to the Super Bowl, they had Miles Sanders. I wasn't that big a fan of Miles Sanders. I, I don't think he got yards that weren't there, essentially. Like, he didn't make yards on his own. He was just, what's there, I'll hit it, and I'll, I'll get the yards that are there. And uh, DeAndre Swift was a little bit better than him, but – I've always thought, like, what would the Eagles' offense be with an elite running back? With there's just the way they're they're able to move, you know, defensive lines with their offensive line, and the threat of Jalen Hurts with the run just removes a defender in in the run game. So it's like this is the perfect situation for an elite running back, and to give Saquon this much space that he's going to have because you have two dynamic wide receivers, you have that run threat with Jalen Hurts. It's going to be special uh, with with Saquon Barkley. He's going to have the most opportunities to really that he's ever had in his career. So he's going to be just salivating at the defenses he sees in front of him. So I'm super excited to watch it. Shout, uh, real quick, shout out to uh, Nick Foles, your Eagles. Mm -hmm. He won you guys a Super Bowl. He just retired this week. Uh, hell good. of a career. Um, Eagles fans, got he's got to be beloved by the Eagles fans. This is actually an interesting one. I'm curious as, to hear your thoughts. This receiving core or this draft class is, is loaded, right? You got Marvin Harrison Jr., Roma Dunze, Malik Neighbors, Keon Coleman is probably going to be a stud. I'm probably missing a guy, but those are like the four, right? In mm -hmm. Madden, who's the, who's the best rookie receiver in Madden that you've played with? Have you played with all those guys? Um, I, I I already know. No doubt, no brainer. It's worthy. You know, Xavier Worthy. Oh, Worthy, going Xavier for, Worthy, going, the Chiefs. Because right. this is this is what you got to understand is that when you're in Madden, 
your situation matters a lot too. You know, like Brian Finneran was one of the best Madden receivers ever, right? Like, you know, why is Brian Finneran one of the best receivers ever? Because he played with Michael Vick. So when you picked Michael Vick, right, to run around with Vick and do all that, then you had Brian Finneran. So just by his relationship with Vick, his situation on Madden, Brian Finneran became one of the best receivers in Madden history. So when you talk about who's the best rookie receiver on Madden, well, one worthy is 98 speed, and he also has, you know, a unicorn playing quarterback that can just throw the ball all over the field and he's just godly on the game so that helps where they just become that good for the most part but i mean it's only been a day here so definitely played i've played with the chiefs a lot as we're preparing for a big major regular team tournament that a lot of people will use the chiefs so yeah it's got to be worthy that's awesome and when uh when is uh before we finish when's the next tournament man where can we find you and watch i want to watch i mean twitch.dub. every single day youtube is dub. Uh, and like, every single day we grind madden and we've been grinding college football for you know 12 16 hours a day i mean it is a uh, prime madden season super excited about it, and super excited about the real college football season and the real nfl season it's 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 the best time of year without a doubt it's starting to get a little cooler out you'll feel a little brisk the breeze and the leaves cracking around in the, in the, in the yeah. wind and it's football season for sure oh that's awesome man and uh guys i mean that's the second episode of Leonard's college football legends we kicked it off last week with kurt banker this week with legendary dub dot dude that was fun man honestly i appreciate you joining sure. Uh, we're gonna. I'm, I'm gonna follow you uh, on this Madden uh, journey that you're on. I hope you win the next tournament. You know, listen, man, right. if you need me to help, you know, maybe not play calling, but I'll be. A, I'll, I'll cheerlead for you uh, in the chat. That's go. for sure. So there you go. Gotta help. I appreciate you, bro. And uh, the chat. Shout out to all the chat who joined us to watch this for the last couple hours. Um, we're gonna do this again, man. We'll see you all next time. Peace.